Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem name is maximum product of three numbers. So the problem goes like this, that you're given an integer array nums, find three numbers whose product is maximum and return the maximum product of those three numbers. So you're given a nums array, as you can see in the examples, and you have to find out three numbers such that if you multiply those three numbers, the product of them is as maximum as possible. Now, the simple intuition for this problem is, why not just multiply the three maximum numbers? Because the three maximum numbers, if you just multiply all of them, will give you the maximum product as possible. Now, how can you find out the three maximum numbers? You can find out the three maximum numbers using, uh, like you can easily like sort out the whole array and then find out the last three numbers in the sorted array. If you sort them in a decreasing order, or like let's say, let's say in an increasing order, then the last three numbers are the three maximum numbers. Okay, then you can multiply those three numbers and then you can just find out that what is the product of that. But whether that's the perfect answer, like that's the always answer. No, that's not the correct answer. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me what is one more case in which this, this whole approach will fail? Can you think about that? Let us move down to our drawing board. Uh, let's say that if you have for the previous example, if you have numbers like this, one, two, three, four, five, and if you sort them out, it will be three, the this, this in the increasing order. In the last three numbers, like three, four, five, while well, well, multiplied, will give you the maximum product. That is fine. But let's say that the numbers are also like this because they can be negative also in the example. Okay. Let's say that the numbers are like this. After sorting out, the array has numbers like this minus 100, minus 99, 3, 4, 5. After sorting, this will be like this because it is in increasing order. Minus 100 will be the most smallest one. And that is the whole uh, numbers after sorting out. Now, if you take the last three numbers, the multiplication of last three numbers will be 3 into 4 into 5. But this is not actually the correct answer. Why? Because these two numbers are pretty large. And when we multiply two negative numbers, the negative negative cancel out and they become a positive number. And thus what you could like you could have also done is take the first two numbers. If you take in the first two numbers like this minus 100 and minus 99 and multiply it with the last number possible. Then this negative negative will get cancel out. It will become 99 into 100 into 5. And that is much bigger than this number because this number, the negative will cancel out. Now you might be thinking, okay, why not take the first three number itself? It can also have like, that is also a possible case. You could, you could have taken the first three numbers also, but as you can see, because I want to maximize the product, these two numbers will cancel out the minus signs. And thus this will, this will totally become a positive number. This will when, when become a positive number. I want a larger positive number now. So the largest positive number is the largest one. That is the last one. So why not take that only? Because that will actually increase the product by more percentage. Also, it can happen that the third number can be negative as well. Like if it can be like this minus, minus, minus 98. So if taking the next number can also like decrease your product and can make it negative again. So there are two cases actually. Either to take the last three numbers or to take the first two number and the last number. That are the two cases. You have to just find out the maximum among both of these cases. Whichever is the maximum product, that's the answer. And that's the overall logic for this problem. Let us move down to the actual uh, code part. As you can see, first step sorted out. Now instead of sorting out, if you want to more optimize this, because you're just finding out actually, as you can see, five numbers, the first two numbers and the last three numbers. And based on that, you have two options, whether to take the first two numbers and the last number and the, or the last three numbers. So you could have done in O of N, you, have, you could have find out, but that would be a more complex code because you have to find out what is the most smallest number, second smallest, and largest, second largest, and third largest. You have to find that in O of N, you can all, you could have also find it out. It will be O of five N because you have iterated over this whole array five times to five, find out those five numbers. But I don't think so that that much complexity is required. Like, uh, because you could have solved this in O of N only, O of N login for sorting because the constraints are pretty small only. I hope you get the point. And so after sorting this out, it will become a piece of cake. You have to just take the last three numbers, multiplication, or the first number that is zeroth index and the last two numbers. So that the first number, second number, and the last number. That is both of them, whatever is the maximum answer is the actual answer. I hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem. We are just sorting it out. So it is O of N login, the time complexity. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you next one till I keep coding and bye.